Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already, please will you just hit the subscribe button below because it really supports my channel and give this video a thumbs up. So as you saw by the title, these are my five top tips on how to keep on track over the weekend. I know personally that I get, I get to weekends sometimes and I'm just like, oh, no more diet, like I'm just gonna eat what I want. It's the weekend, I work hard in the week. But nothing can sabotage your health and fitness journey more than that, let me tell you. If you work so hard in the week and you're good and you stick to your diet and you get to the weekend and you basically just binge it all out, you're literally putting all your hard work out on the street and it's gone. Not saying one meal's gonna kill you, because obviously one meal's not gonna make you fat and one meal's not gonna make you thin, but if you go nuts and balls to the walls on the weekend, likely it is you're gonna throw away all of your hard progress. So, I know that I struggle with this, it is hard, but these are my five top tips to keep you on track. The first one is your mindset. We need to get out of that mentality that when it comes to the weekend, it's time to let loose. Okay, now I get it, we have stressful lives and we have jobs and when it comes to the weekend, we kinda just wanna hit a party, knock a few back, have a few burgers and slices of pizza and chill on the couch and be a potato, but I mean, aren't you about this healthy new lifestyle? So why are you doing that to yourself? I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but getting out of that mentality of that once we get to the weekend, we lose all control, we lose all focus. You need to make this your lifestyle. And it is your lifestyle. It's not just a Monday to Friday. It's a Monday to Sunday for the rest of your life. This is what you've chosen. You need to make sure that you follow through with it throughout the weekend too because the weekend is not just a day where you can just be like throw all of my hard work and everything out the window bye and then that's it that's not how you're going to achieve your goals and that's not how you're going to become um that's not how you're going to have a healthy relationship with food and a healthy relationship with your body you need to make it consistent and when it gets to friday you need to still be focused um I know that saying that to myself and being like, listen, it's the weekend, I know. You're tired, you've had a long week, you kind of just want to order pizza, but did you really just work so hard now to just throw it all away for the rest of the weekend? Mm, maybe not, you know? Which comes into my second tip, is if you are going to have a treat, and usually you associate treats with the weekend, get out of that habit. Have your treat in the week. Pick another day, for example a Wednesday, and have it then. Move it around according to your diet or according to your workout so that you can use the calories. For example, if you have a leg day on a Tuesday, maybe have your treat on a um, Monday night. So when you go to the gym on the Tuesday, you're going to use those calories. So they're not just going to sit because leg days are usually quite intense and it's a lot of work and a lot of muscle that goes into it. So, you know, doing stuff like that, mixing it up, not making it that the weekend is all about your treats, but you can have a treat any day of the week, one treat, and that's it for you to keep you sane. Otherwise, eat clean, train mean, and have a burger to keep you sane. I saw that saying somewhere. I thought it was pretty cool. But yeah, so that's what I'm, that's another thing that can really help is just changing your mindset of being when you're gonna have a treat. Whether that's a pizza, a burger, an ice cream, Oreos, whatever. Just make it on a different day so that you don't always associate the weekends with treating. Number three. This is a simple one, but it's a must. Carry your water bottle everywhere with you. People often, on the weekends, myself included, I'll be shopping and I will smell food and immediately I think I'm hungry. Meanwhile, I'm just thirsty and dehydrated and have not had any water throughout the whole day. So what do I do? Go and buy something that's not probably the best choice, but I'm thinking it is because I'm kind of just hungry and I just want to eat. But had I drank water, I would probably realize, oh, I'm actually really not hungry, but it's coming up to snack time. I haven't eaten for about three hours. Let me rather grab a smoothie. That kind of thing. So make sure that you keep water with you and you are drinking. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. If you don't hydrate, you're probably going to think you're hungry more than what you are. And you're actually just wanting water. So that's a really good one. Number four is in the beginning of your fitness journey, I know it sounds so tedious and so annoying, but prep your meals for the weekend. Don't just do it from Monday to Friday. 
prep your meals for the weekend, especially in the beginning of your fitness journey. This helps you stay accountable, you've got food available, you don't need to go out and get food. Saying this though, if you are, for example, going out to a restaurant for an event, you've got a birthday, you're going out with your significant other, with a friend, whatever, do your research on what the menu offers. There's always healthier options on a menu wherever you go. And if not, you can usually always ask for something different. They'll usually accommodate it. So have a look at the menu. Say, okay, so I'm not going to have a creamy sauce with this. I'll rather just have the sauce on the side and I'll have a big bowl of veggies and my protein and maybe some sweet potato. Like you can, you can usually mix and match at restaurants. They usually are quite accommodating, but make sure that you do your research of where you're going and maybe suggest to your friend or your partner, can we rather go here because there's more of an option of what I can eat and what's better for me rather than a lot of fatty foods that aren't really on my diet right now and it's not really my treat day. So preparation, and planning ahead is very, very key. And lastly, this is my favorite thing because I usually have everything but the kitchen sink in my bag, and that is to carry snacks everywhere. Snacks, snacks, snacks. Um, when you have your snacks ready available, you're not gonna go and buy a donut, and buy an ice cream, and buy a chocolate, But instead, you're going to grab your bag next to you, which has got your little thing of nuts, your almonds, your cashews, you're going to grab your protein shake, you're going to grab your raw vegan protein bar, you're going to grab your other protein bar, um, you're going to grab your little um, dried pieces of fruit, or whatever the case may be. Always have snacks ready available. When they're ready available, you grab them, you're not going to eat so healthy and you're not going to grab for something that you really shouldn't have. Especially in the beginning, it's so important to just follow through and plan as much as you can because once you get accustomed to it, it's going to become like second nature. You won't even think about it and it will just be natural to you. So these are my five top tips to stay healthy and on track on the weekend. I hope they will help you and I will see you guys in my next video.